Hello, this is the Game of Thrones game from Telltale Games that we're playing now. And I'm all caught up in the show and I'm wearing a Game of Thrones t-shirt right now and I'm not obsessed at all. I'm really excited. I've played a few episodes of this already. But, you know, I haven't played the first episode at least in a while. So I'm excited. This is probably my f favorite TV show of all time. It's right up there. There's actually something I want to talk about, but like... I mean, it's not Game of Thrones related. But... Um... I auditioned to... Uh... To voice act in this thing. It's an audio drama. It's a fan-made audio drama, so... You know, it's unpaid and everything. But I'm really excited and I got the part. Um, so I will be voice acting a character named Brenda. And this is, the, the audio drama is called Boys Like You. And it's a Zootopia fan thing. And I'm so excited. I actually talked about it in this video I made, like, about Zootopia, basically. And... I didn't mention that I auditioned to voice act in it because I, I, I didn't want to say anything, you know, if I didn't get the part or anything, you know, but I got it so I'm talking about it now. I'm super excited. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. For thousands of years, House Forrester has been, have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the wolf's wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the north has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forrester Ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. So this game, like, is centered on a house we don't really see much of in the show. So it's all, like, new. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like the great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North, and set free by the women. Looks like we're in a war. <laughs> the way he tells it. Okay. The sword won't clean itself, you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll clean that sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brain. There we go. Ah, it's a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. <laughs> I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest... Oh, well, you'll see. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne, I'm gonna be a hero. Hand in it, you know, <laughs> hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> you think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. Mm -hmm. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. Oh, dang <laughs> Story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Ye. Go on. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> I love Game of Thrones so fucking much. Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. Oh. 
<laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, 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 king in the north. In the north. <laughs> Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. Am I allowed to like? Lots of favors. Onward, like to spoil. Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Because, like, I want to say stuff, but, like... Got it. If you haven't seen the show, you... It would, like, spoil stuff, you know? You to keep an eye out for Roderick. And I'm completely caught up. I could not be more proud of the man he's become. Which would be, like... Not like this. Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. Um, I'd rather he were here. The season finale of season six? Season six. Uh, just recently came out. Something must be done. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not yeah, as squire, buddy. But as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. And I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Mm. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. I already said yes, dude. <laughs> but you know what? I I outrank you now, bitch. Catch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. Hmm. Think he was the lord the way he hands out orders. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. <sighs> Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. True. For all I know, we can be squires <laughs> for life. Oh, yeah. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. I won't tell him. Maybe if my uncle were Castellan at House Forester, I'd feel different. How much further? Uh, it's right <laughs> over there. Shit. Yep. There we go. Here it is right now. That was the thing I was going to talk about. Uh, I was going to talk about the Red Wedding, but I was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't. But, you know. Seems like I don't have to. Nice night for a wedding. Well, we know what the setting is now. This is the night of the Red Wedding. Finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Shit, man. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? We gotta get out of here, dude. Escape. Holy shit. I'm having flashbacks right now. It's gotten into you. You're acting rather <sighs> odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Oh, 
And the fucking Reigns of Castamere's are playing. Reigns of Castamere is playing right now. Such a rush. What? What about? What the hell was that about? Damn it! God damn it! This is intense moment controller. What's the rush? Run! Shit, man. Ugh. My heart right now. We need to get back to camp. That was a tough time. Oh, holy shit, I almost missed that. My hand my left hand wasn't even on the controller. Okay, so if you haven't watched if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, I don't recommend watching this because I'm just gonna start talking. <sighs> yep, 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 let's get that. Let's go ahead and do that. For shit. Thank God. Oh man. Just remember what they did to Rob's wife. That fucked me up, man. Shoot that one! Nice. Hey, yo. Look out! Oh jeez, this is a bad place to be. This is a really, really bad place to be. Holy crap. Fuck, dude. I'm gonna fucking die here. Because I decided going under the carriage was a good idea. Oh, dead. Fuck! Okay. Thank God. Oh, oh man. Oh, shit. Look what you fucking done now, Gary. God damn it. Oh. Garrett, did you find Roderick? Shit, man. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The phrase. They they slaughtered him, my lord. Find a weapon. Quickly! Wow. Wow. He's gonna fucking die because Go, my lord. we decided to look into each other's eyes. And now we're doing it again. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Seven hells. You wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Well, the phrase is time to. <gasps> <clears throat> Shit, son. When did that happen? Guard this with your life. <sighs> Turn it high and wrath where it belongs. There's no time. Okay. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. 
I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle, Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Oh. <laughs> With love, brother. Ah. Shit. God damn it. Fuck the phrase, dude. Should we watch that season finale of season six of Game of Thrones? That was awesome. Oh my god. I'm still not talking about it. Like I said, I was gonna talk about it, but I'm not. <laughs> I love, like, when people will like sing the Game of Thrones theme, but like add words to it. It's hilarious. Hmm. This is really nice. They animated this all. Um, like separate from the show. from ice. Pretty sure that's what I shouted. And it got a bunch of cheers. The King's Road. I've seen some shit. Look at him. Pig. Something is definitely up, I would say. That's not normal. That dead pig isn't normal either. Look. Look at it. Does that look at this cart? Just let me look at it. Whew. That's father's car. Shit. Okay. Give us fucking titles for this. No. What a fucking waste. So they're with the Boltons. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. They put up a banner of the flayed I man. I'm going to kill you. Oh damn. <laughs> there you go. Is that so? You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Shit. Shit! I almost missed that. <sighs> no. Man. Oh. I'll have that sword, boy. It's a really bad idea to get. Come get it, you bastard! I don't. It's really bad idea to get it like a bad name with the Boltons, but <clears throat> man, fuck these guys. But the Boltons will fuck me up. <clears throat> Shit. All right. 
finish this fucking pig farmer. I'd rather stay under the radar of Ramsey Bolton. Okay, I'm going for the fucking pitchfork. Who do you think I am? Oh! Well, I'm gonna just have to kill them all, I guess. So they can't report back. Shit, dude, that's my leg. Ow. <laughs> Gotta kill him. Please. No, fuck you. I beg of you. You're with the bullpens. Doesn't anyone doesn't everyone? No, please! Lord White Hill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Kill him! Kill him! God damn it! God damn it! Shit! Father? God, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. No. <sighs> I tried to stop them. That's some depressing shit right there. Fucking rip. <laughs> I'll kill the men who did this. Well, I already killed two of them. Should have killed that one guy before he ran off. Man, we are so fucked. If I knew that last guy was gonna run off, I probably would have just spared that dude. Iron Wrath. I'm gonna go get me some medical attention. Jesus. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. <laughs> Two White Hill soldiers? And oh, yeah. Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Shit, dude. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, mister. Ew. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Okay, that one last in. Your justice was <sighs> swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why do you make me do this, mister? I'm looking away. I'm looking away. So, oh, oh, oh my God! I can hear them. <laughs> to lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a dis 
despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Allies. And then enemies. I'm prepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? <sighs> oh my god. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not the problem. What? Himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Damn. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Okay. But I'm fine. Good as new. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay. Let's look around then. It's a shield. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Hmm. I guess that's what they're known for. The Ironwood Grove. That's their main source of income. I guess. Is that wood? Hmm. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. This is tapestry. Looks like it might have the family on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's Roderick. Rip. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Lord Forrester, Rip. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. <laughs> For a second, I thought that he was just gonna say Ryan and just leave it at that. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Yeah. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. King's Landing is a dangerous place. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. With the Lannisters. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh. That's no good. Mm hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Let's look at all your crap. This might help. Okay, I'll just steal those. That's cool. I'll steal these too. <laughs> That's funny. Ew! Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna fucking touch the shit out of those maggots. Well, they're cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Dude, that's nasty. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Cool. Let's just look at him. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god.
Does your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the Why White Hills? The White Hills hate the foresters. I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Can I leave now? I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Sam. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs, with his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with right. Ramsay Snow, the bastard. He is a force to be reckoned with. Means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within a week. Shit, Those dude. Those will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what was this you do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. I should probably Gotta not stay here. Anyone else within these walls? Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You ask too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's mm. to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house. And he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Right, right, right. Cannot stay? Duncan. Where would what? I go? Where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The wall. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. 
I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. <laughs> Doge. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Yeah. Oh man. I got in a real complicated situation real fast. Doggy! Can someone take care of Sage, please? Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? I have not. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. I don't even know what the North Grove is. To anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. All right. Yeah, sounds easy enough. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Oh, man. All right. Wait. Be safe. Oh, man. Playing hide and seek, I guess. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe oh no. Something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, 
I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And and Roderick. Sad face. But Mira's in King's Landing and Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Okay. And he calls you a milksop. Yeah, I mean, look at me, I'm a little pussy. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. Oh, sad what face. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I can't. I know a Lord has many responsibilities. I don't want to change. I want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Look, I'm sure I'm gonna have to come across some well, difficult decisions a lord. You can as a lord. Do you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I can have all the sweets I want. <laughs> Only it with that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. True. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Shit. Oh, here start my lordly duties. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Oh, oh shit. Certainly unexpected. Thank God Garrett got out of there. Oh Can't no, oh Duncan. no. He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. All right. Yeah, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's I will. do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of well, Hans Bolton, all the more. Reasons. Lord Whitehill can go fuck himself. Only cowards and. And I'll tell him so. I mean, he did just show up unannounced. The bitch. 
my game face on. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger. Okay, well, fuck so. you. Punch him. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And I think you should leave now. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. You no bloody bitch. Purchases. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You huh. little fuck. <laughs> you talk to the lord. Hey, I'm a lord too, bitch. Shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. You're a fucking cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you well, I'm finished. Get the fuck out. Wood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Fuck you. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire? Lord Ethan. They deserved it, bitch. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Why don't you go fuck yourself? My men. I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? I didn't. Me. I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. <sighs> Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? Hmm. I mean, no disrespect to you, Look at him. Lady. He's a little Since bitch. Losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. How about I just kill you now? You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Should have just ignored his hand. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Hey, you were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Right. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. 
So I think Joffrey is still king at this point. Okay, I guess I'll look at all this shit. Ethan made this for me. That's nice. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Cool. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Guess I was writing that. Hmm. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Hmm. Wonders made by man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Hmm. Okay. Did I look at everything then? Okay. Well, what the fuck do I do now? Maybe there's something I missed. Oh. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I don't know about that. Because it seems like the only way she'd really be able to help us is through the king. Like, gaining One the moment. king's... Like... Oh, help. Sorry, lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. But Chaffrey is the king. You'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Um. And... Joffrey... I don't... Begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. Oh. Okay. Uh, they appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forest. That's House no Forest. good at all. That's bad. That's real bad. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Yeah, it sounds like I am in... don't tend to notice a call. ...in trouble here. King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. 
Hmm. Good night, my lady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Okay. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Right. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Shit. She was very pleased with herself. What? How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... Looks like... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I'll do as you ask, my lady. Looks like I must I have to step I up my acting you. game. Humor her. We get Tell her what she wants to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so fucking stressed out. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. I'm like, literally getting anxiety here. Just thinking about talking to Cersei. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. All right, all right, all right. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Good luck. Okay, let's go be Cersei's bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. My palms are sweating. There's Tyrion too, it looks like. Yeah. Tyrion is faith. You can do this. Oh my god. I can't even breathe right now. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. She just yeah. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl's Sweet. courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Indeed we are. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet? For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Oh, I don't know. This is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you, if you have any loyalty at all. I don't know. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. 
And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Yeah, Forrester come on. does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crowd, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Oh. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Oh, shit. Do you mean the stink eye? I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. Mm. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you, eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades, I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to steal your ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. 
Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Tyrion is faith. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. She talking and about Jamie Lannister? Rin Martell, the Red Viper. Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Okay. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Hmm. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Fuck no. He does have a certain look about him. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir hm. Bronn and... What are you doing? Sir Bronn and Tyrion Lannister. Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. That's good. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Yep, for sizzle. Heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? No, but it'll get worse. People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I don't think she'd be able to help me. Really. I'm not gonna ask her for help. My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you, for my family. Plus, it's a lot She's to not. ask. You're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near, and I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But yeah. now, now we must both be cautious. Yes. Of course, my lady. You're right. Better to wait. I'm trying to, like, walk away with as many foresters as possible.
back on our way to the wall. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. <laughs> there goes our ride. Seven hells. Oh, oh man. This isn't so good. Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors? Oh my god. Of their enemies as a coat? Oh my god. They're flaying him. They flayed him. Oh my god, I don't want to watch this. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to stare at this fucking Not tree. Best work, Fuck you. I suppose I have. Oh my god, stop. Ugh. Easy. There's Ramsey Bolton, that guy. <laughs> that guy right there, that's Ramsey Bolton. Fuck that guy. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. Shit. How much further is it to these foresters? Oh, shit. Day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Oh no. Lord? Shh. Listen. There. Hear that? Oh my god, oh my god. No no no. I, I know I heard something. would rather not be flayed. Thank you very much. Please stay right there. Never mind. Thank God. We've wasted enough time already. Oh, I'm not hearing any sounds from that dude. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh, I like how I'm creeping up on him. Yeah, he's dead as fuck. Oh my god. And they just leave him here, too, with their banner. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Jesus, what the fuck? They skinned him! So Lord we're back with done. Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold. Who seized back the river valley from the White Hills? What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father I'm so was well cute. regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. That's a long ass time. These were your father's people to lead and protect? And now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. I'm gonna fuck this up. And every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Shit, man, that's me. I've done Here's these. I was only trying to survive. Here's a hard decision. I'm probably gonna have to. Oh. Lord Ethan. Miss. 
You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. A deserter. We all fucking know it! You know what they do to deserters. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Shit, Dan. No, that's wrong. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Royland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Mercy. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. I'm aware of that. We'll never survive the coming winter. But fleeing isn't. isn't. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Hmm. Ah, uh, dude, I don't know. I will decide. Send him to the war. Shit, man. I don't want to take his fingers in front of my sister. Punishing an innocent man it will be an injustice, my lord. You're not innocent, dude. We've already established this. My lord, my family depends. Well, I can't show him mercy, but I don't want to take three fingers in front of Talia here. So I'm gonna send you to the wall. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. Oh, please, my lord. My family, without me, they'll die. <clears throat> that was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester. What do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. If there are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Hmm. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Hmm. Well, so far I've agreed with Sir Royland the most, but I'll talk with everyone. See what they think. Okay. Oh, uh, hmm. It's a shield. Let's talk to Ryan. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. 
All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Sad face. Uh, yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. Oh man. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. He's like nine and Why he's already bitter. Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Who else can I talk to? Well, there's Sir Roiland, but I won't talk to him or Duncan until I've come to a consensus. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. Well, I didn't show mercy, though. Excuse me, my lord. I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just. Try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's Adam. fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. I think so too. He'd be a fine choice. And I trust him. You're right. Sir Roiland seems the man for the job. We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Yeah. There's no negotiating with Ethan Ramsey Bolton. I saw what you did to that man. You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't what? afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Did you want me to cut oh, off his fingers? Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please, tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've I still think. Given me good advice. Thank you. I still think I should go with Roiland. I think that's everyone, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all of them. Okay, well. Go ahead and give this to Sir Roland then. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords! Word. Of course, my lord. I 
have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Right now. Tonight, at the small council meeting. Oh. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Okay. I see. Well, I guess I might as well go talk to Duncan then. Here we go. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps well, now. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. I have decided, but I didn't want to tell him. I appreciate them. your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I feel like that'd be kind of insulting. Just be like, oh, I think Sir Ryland take the job. Okay, let's go talk to this dude. What, Maester? Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. May sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. I believe so too. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Okay. Sir Roiland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Sorry, Duncan. Be praised. You've done well, oh, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. You're just saying that because you lost. What do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. That is close. We'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. Indeed, I agree. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Oh, shit. Come on, pretty strong. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Yes, every absolutely. Man hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. 
he would see it for the empty gesture that it is, and have us flayed. I'd rather not we be must flayed. Take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Right. My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. I think it's a really bad idea to invite him into the hall, but he's also right about our soldiers. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey it's probably command. the only plan. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Look. Apologies, my son. Ramsay Snow that it is does settled. not negotiate. We know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. He's and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what. Who wants death and destruction? Decide, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. And we have to prepare the house. Nothing will be able to convince him. To commit otherwise. My lord, I have faithfully served this family for many years. I I sent my own nephew to the wall to protect you. Just remember that. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Yes. We're gonna need. What about your brother? Asha. A lot. Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. I'm not seeing any way we can... He always protected you and your sister. Um. We yes, can come out of this unscathed. With Ramsay Snow out of, uh, after us. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? But, fighting... I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. Finding seems like but when Ash the only real chance here. He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. 
Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Milady. What? You? Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully, I've proven I could be useful to you. It'd be a good idea to have like a spy. I, I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who. People who'd be willing to help you. Yes, I need, I'm gonna need all the allies I can get. It's that same dude. Where that bloody hell is, Duncan? Now fuck him if he's angry. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! I wonder if I can just keep the gate closed and refuse to let them in. Something wrong with your gate? How about we have our little meeting just right here? Well, you stay you? on that side and I'll be on this side. No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Thank you, my lord. Wow, I don't remember allowing that. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. We should probably take that knife away from him. I'd rather him not be armed. He just makes himself at home. <laughs> Cool 
quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. I'm so nervous right now. And, ugh. Man, I really didn't want to let them in here. It's my mother and my brother right there. Very vulnerable. My sister. Lord Ramsay. Come out here, I can see you. No, no, no. I'm gonna need you to step five more feet Watch back from the child. Business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Words are wind. And you I don't see him anywhere. They're loyal. I want you to show me. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Okay, well, there goes the audio then. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forest esquire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. I'm super on edge right now. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? I'm gonna have to go in and say no. The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills done? We are talking about trees. The White Hills had Ironwood, once. But now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. Man. <gasps> At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> Not for me. What? How the hell does he get inside? We locked the gate on him. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. Nope. You're nope. Frightened, are you? Get away. Lord Ramsay, God. please. And you, 
Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Leave my sister alone! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> Lord Ramsay, nope. that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go! She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Nope. 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 <laughs> oh my god. But no! I don't want the <laughs> brave lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! No, no! I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come However, on. the forest okay. need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your wall. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let them take me! Oh. You will not take Stop him! Stop help me! Ryan, please! Let me no. go! Ryan! Do something! This is bad. This is real bad. My son. Well, I'm trying my best. I wonder if there was any way I could have avoided all that. Man. The number of foresters is dwindling. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Oh, Those who will John not Snow. stop until Ethan is avenged. Jon Snow. Until Ryan is home again. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Oh, man. You and 65.8% stayed with Bowen. 62.4% swore, swore loyalty to the king. 35.4% sent Eric to the wall. 30.9% picked Ryland. Hmm. You and 49.9% met Ramsey at the gate. Hmm. And I'm not sure about a lot of my decisions. In this episode. Huh. Well, hopefully, next time we don't lose any more foresters. <laughs> oh my god. That was intense. <laughs> Until then.